So now that I have my quad turned into pure black and white, I've gotten rid of all of the grayscale pencil marks. I've cropped it so that all of the edges have been cropped out. Um, now I want to make sure that it's the right size. So we're going to change this to make sure that it's closer to the size that we drew it. Because when you take the picture on your iPad, it puts it up to a larger size. So we're going to go to image, image size, and see how it's made it really big. I'm going to make the width. Originally, our originals were 12 inches. It may be a little bit off here. This is 9.9, .9, so it looks like it's making it 12 by 10. Um, I would just not worry about it because um, maybe it wasn't drawn at the exact size that it should have been, but we're going to make this 12 inches wide. Oh, you know what? Actually, we made it, we made it 10. So we made it 10. Sorry. <laughs> Ignore that 12. Um, you want to make it 10 inches wide by 8 point whatever. If you if you choose 8, then it's going to change this. So just change this part to 12, I mean to 10. So change your width to 10. And whatever it defaults to, it's OK if it's a little more, if it wasn't exactly right. OK, so it should be 10 inches wide, 150 pixels per inch, and whatever it defaults to on this. And you click OK. Right now I'm going to command zero to zoom this out into the window, right? This is bigger than a hundred percent. So when I zoom down towards a hundred percent, if you look at it, it's pretty clean, but I do need to clean up some of this stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to zoom in and let you see some of the schmutz that's on here, right? See all these little speckles that's from the pencil. So we're going to use the eraser. So you're going to choose the eraser. I like to use up here. So whenever you choose a tool, if you choose the tool, watch how this changes. If I click on different things, right, it changes to different things. The eraser is on the right side and it looks like this little thing right here. So I click on that and I'm going to choose mode block. You can also use mode pencil, um, but I'm just going to use block and you'll get a little square. And then I can go in and I can erase and I just press and hold my mouse and I drag it around on the places that I want to erase. So I can zoom in and I can get really close and make sure I'm getting everything. So I'm just going to get the basic stuff. All this that looks kind of pixely like that, don't worry about that. It's actually zoomed in so big that it looks that way. But when you print this out, it's going to look beautiful, just like all the other ones I've shown you. So what you need to do now is you need to clean up all the things. Now there's also something, and I don't know if this one has it, but so you'll go in and you're gonna make sure that it's all clean, but you also need to maybe fix a line. So let me show you how you can fix a line. I'm just gonna accidentally erase a piece over here so you can see. I'm gonna fix this line because oops, I forgot to connect it. Okay, if you need to fix a line, you can use the pencil tool. So under the paintbrush, hold and press and hold and choose pencil because then it'll make pixels. And you're going to choose the color and you're going to choose black and now i can do this okay so you're going to click on here and then click so if i click this and then i press shift and then i click there it's going to draw a line it's a little skinny so i'm going to go in and i'm going to change it to maybe four pixels and i'm going to click then let go, then press shift, then click. And that will draw a line. Here's another trick. If you want to add a line in, you can click, let go, press shift, and you can click. And as long as you're holding the shift key, it will continue to connect wherever you click. So if you need to draw another line, it's very helpful to do that. So I'm going to just use my pencil with a black color. So I click there to pull the black all the way into the corner. And I'm going to use my eraser. And I'm going to make sure that this part is on white. So when I go to use my eraser, the background is erasing to the background of white. OK, so I'm going to erase things with that. And I am going to I can even touch up little things like if my line is overshot. You don't have to be too careful about that. Just make sure that it looks clean. Like there is a lot of stuff on here that I want to go in and it might take you a whole class period to clean it up. And that's OK. 
you want to just make sure all the stuff is gone before we go any further. Okay, so that is, that's where you want to get it. This is not all the way finished. You want to touch up any lines using the pencil. You want to erase any little spots or speckles using the eraser. And you can also do the same thing here. Look, if I zoom in and see how this looks like a line, I can click, press shift and go over here and look. I can click, press shift and go over here. So I can click and click and I can maybe take things off that you know those were lines and you can get them. Like here, this was obviously a line. If I click there, press shift, click, and then let go. Click, press shift, click, let go. Okay, so that's a quick way to get in and clean up lines, especially things like this, right? There's a line along here. If I click, press shift, I clicked and let go. When I say click, that means click and let go. When I say press, you continue to hold. So if I go all the way up to here and I click, it took away all that stuff on the edge. It still needs more. So I'm going to let go. I'm going to click again, press shift, and I'm going to go all the way down to here and just clean that edge up. Okay, so that's a really nice way to do it. Now, unfortunately, you can't really do it with things like the circles. You just kind of have to use your, your hand. Your, I'm pressing and holding the mouse button down. There's not really a button anymore, but I'm pressing and just, you know, I can move my mouse around to erase little things like that. Okay, so that's basically what you got to do. You got to get it all cleaned up, file, save. Once you save it, as long as it has the name there and you saved it into your file, you can just do file save or you can press command S. You can see all these little commands on the right. If I look at save, it shows the command key and S. So the command key is next to the, to the um, space bar and I just press command S, okay? And now it's a good idea to do that often when you're working, you just press command S and then it's saved, okay? And that's it.